Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be looking at this uh, Asus. This is an RTX 4090. The customer dropped it off with us yesterday. It has a crack on the locking tab. Um, visually, it looks very, very small. So we're going to take a bit of time now and work on this card. Uh, we'll get under the microscope and you can have a bit of look with us and see if we can fix the problem. All right, so we can see our little uh, crack over here. To me, that seems rather superficial. On the new 40 series cards, they moved a lot of these traces away from the edge. Perhaps learning the lesson from 3090s. Okay, so what we're looking at here now is the only trace we have. This is for a Gigabyte 4090. As you can see from this image, there is no traces in this area that cracks, but Asus do design their own cards and have their own layouts that are unique to them. So there is a good chance there's more traces down there. We're not entirely sure. So what you're looking at in this image is layer th one, three, and five, and this is normally where all the traces lie. It looks like we have at least one severed trace there. That might be the only one that's disabling the functions of this card. Let's have a look at the back. And we've got a crack over there. I'm going to be rather optimistic. And I know the shunt traces run somewhere in this area, but I can't say if there's anything underneath this. We might grind away a little bit just to have a look and see what we can find. But as far as I'm concerned, it may only be this trace on the front. So what I'm going to do now is just take a couple of measurements and let's see what condition the card's in. So, right over here now. Diode mode. I'll leave that over there so you guys can see it. So looking at the first data pair. Good. Good. 12 volts. Good. 3.3 volts. Good. I can reach something here. So this is, uh, what is this? 1.8 volts or 5 volts? Anyway, the rail is not important as long as it's not in short. I'm just reaching out what I can. Looks fine. Fine. Let's try to get to a memory rail. I think that's a memory rail right there. Um, let's go check that in resistance mode. No, that's in diode still. One hundred and twenty ohms. That's perfectly good for memory. So everything looks good. What I'm actually going to do right now is. Reconnect this one trace down here because I'm strongly suspicious that this is the only trace that's causing problems right now. And then we'll take a look at what happened. If I have to, I can grind it a bit further down. But knowing these cards, how they work, I think it's necessary.
and here we are the card is now closed up and it's on test everything is looking perfectly normal with this uh, we'll probably have a happy customer and again thank you guys for watching